Hi everyone! Today I'll be opening two packages that I just got in the mail. I kind of did already open them, so I kind of know what they are, but I haven't unboxed, right? So I'm just gonna take them out. So I know this is from eBay. I bought a bunch of little wigs. Um, it was like a whole package. I think of, I think of four wigs, and it was maybe seventeen dollars. So I mainly got this set of wigs for this Nelly wig because I was worried that they would stop having it. Just like they stopped having the Caroline wig, like I can't find the knockoff Caroline wig anymore and I'm really sad about that. So I was like maybe they're gonna like run out of the Nelly wigs too so I bought one for like maybe customs or I don't know I just really wanted it because <laughs> I really like her hair and like maybe in the future I'll just like make a Nelly, you know? And now I have her wig, so it's super cute. It's it's like very much seems like American Girl hair. And this is the inside of the wig cap, if you were curious. This wig, however, this I think is also American Girl, but I don't know who this belongs to. At first I thought maybe like truly like like Krissa or truly me 40. I don't know what Krissa really looks like though, to be honest, so, but I don't think Krissa, Krissa's hair is like this, so I think it's a side part, and at the top it's black with like little brown highlights, and then in the inside it's like just brown, it's like completely brown, and it's really really pretty, but I just don't know what doll this might belong to, or like which doll this which doll this would have belonged to, but it's super gorgeous. And I and I hope that they come out with more hair like this, where it's like a subtle different color, because it's really, really pretty. Now these, the wig caps do look similar, but I kind of doubt this is, these are like American Girl, because American Girl has never really made a wig this, like, the style before. Maybe it is the boy wig, I'm not really sure, but it's, just like that. And then we have this wig, which is similar to the other one, except longer maybe, but I don't I didn't really like have a plan for these wigs. Um, and I am gonna take this off because this looks crusty musty. I'm pretty sure it was like an elastic, but like it melted. And so I gotta take that off. This is probably like 20 years old. All right, moving on to our second package. This is an American Girl outfit. And I'll bring in the box out first because I'm glad they included the box. It was cute like that. Um, it's a little crushed. That's all right though. But it's this outfit from the, from the World Traveler collection, Fun on the Slopes, I think. And then this is the back of the box. Super cute. This outfit is really nice too. I didn't plan to get this outfit, like I wasn't I wasn't gonna buy it full price, but I saw this for a little cheaper than full price and I thought, you know, why not? Why not? Alright, so the first items I pull out are the boots. They're super fluffy. Okay, the next things I have the goggles. And I'm glad they're still brand new in their package, so let's take that out. Super cute. They're like, there's like, there's like a holographic sparkly film on top. And this is elastic, of course. Here are the gloves, also brand new. I think I only have like one pair of gloves, which is, you know, enough, honestly, but you know, having a second pair is always nice too. Super cute, pretty thin. Okay, and our last piece is our main piece. This is so big. So this material feels kind of like, at first it feels kind of cheap-ish. I don't really want to say that though, because the inside is soft but it's like plasticky um, and it like, it's a weird kind of texture, but then I think it's still a pretty good quality. It has little slits. There's a belt that's not removable. This is the back. 
this is the collar that has a bunch of fur and to open it there's a zip zip front zip cute and very big so this is what the outfit looks on a doll the goggles they're super loose so they like stay on the head pretty well this is a Jess mold I don't know if it will stay on the head better on a different head but it's like I don't know it's pretty loose so it's not very stuck to the head so I guess it won't like be bad for the vinyl because there's like no padding inside to like actually protect the vinyl but I feel like it will fall easily definitely not like like real goggles you know and the rest of the outfit was relatively easy to get on these gloves don't really fit too well either but they don't really like necessarily need a lot of shape anyways but they're kind of like loose would I say I recommend the outfit yeah like if you really like the aesthetic it's pretty cute I wish kind of now that I look at it I wish the zipper was a little bit more hidden like if the stitching went all the way to like the zipper you know or they used a smaller zipper but no overall it's a pretty cute outfit so this is the first wig on as you can see this is on a truly me 40 and it kind of does look like her hair except I know it's not her wig because the highlights are definitely different I don't know if you can see but like there's definitely brown underneath and it's like kind of more black on top and also there's like a little defect um, in the front of her bangs but I don't really mind I think that's fixable and I wasn't really like I didn't expect too much from this wig I'm not mad about anything wrong with the wig at this angle you can see the hair color is a little bit more different also, sorry about the background noise. It's currently thunderstorming and raining. I kind of like it though. It's kind of peaceful, but the lighting is changing. So sorry about that. But right now we have the Nelly wig. Um, I think because maybe Josefina's forehead is bigger, the bangs fit that mold better because I have to kind of do like a little side swept kind of thing. Here's a side angle. It looks like her hair is like huge right now, but it's just because she's wearing this coat. But it's really, really pretty. Alright, here is the wig with the little pigtail thing. I, I don't know how to style this one. I don't even know what's front or back. Um, it's honestly not too bad. It's kinda, it kind of looks cute on her. But definitely not a wig I was going to really use. But honestly pretty cute. Okay, I just got a tornado alert. We love that. But we're gonna keep filming. So this is our last wig. Um, it's the shorter one. There's not much shape to it, to be honest. It's a pretty good uh, wig for a boy doll, but it doesn't really like do much for them, you know? There's not a lot of style uh, in the wig, I would say, except for maybe this like side swept kind of vibe. All right, so I got these things in the mail just a day after filming the uh, haul that I just did and um, when I was ordering the previous haul oh by the way I couldn't find regular scissors so I'm gonna use these ones I called American Girl and they sent me a catalog because I asked for it I was like hey send me a catalog they said yeah girl of course so I'm really excited to be honest because I haven't received I haven't seen a catalog in four years you know I haven't been to an American Girl place in long longer than that actually oh my god and I have ooh cute why is this so small I don't remember these catalogs being so small but I'm just really excited to have um, a new catalog I'll just do a little flip through the new mix and match set super cute I'm so happy I have one of these catalogs are so different now where is the historical? Why is the historical section so small? I wonder if this catalog is um, what they have in the stores too or if this is a different kind of catalog. Anyways, I was just excited about that. And then this is actually going to be um, something I'm going to use to customize my dolls with. <laughs> I don't know how to use these scissors um, to cut this open. <laughs> But I ordered two because 
I was worried I wouldn't be able to get it again at a decent price because I heard these can go up to like $100 for two and I was not about to do that. And I think I got this for maybe uh, two for 24. Ooh, and they are a little smaller than I expected, but actually it's, it's still a good size. And it's, um, as you can see, Mr. Super Clear Matte UV Cut Matte. Wait, it's matte? I think I was supposed to say flat. Pretty sure I ordered the flat one. Honestly, I'm not really sure what the difference is. But, you know, we're gonna try it out. I know there's a lot of preparation, like I have to wear a mask and stuff and do it outside to seal stuff. Mr. Super Clear is used to make a good base for the mediums to stick on the vinyl. And then you would also use this to seal it so that it wouldn't wash off. And I'm just really excited to use this. 